the good by cultivating, developing, purifying his mind, he gained enlightenment. Many people actually do not know what is enlightenment. Very loosely they use this word, enlightenment. So one day, when the Buddha was going somewhere, he met a Brahmin. I think you know the meaning of Brahmin, the Hindu priest, teacher, master, guru, or everything. They are called Bra Brahman. He has never seen another human being like this person. So he could not believe that this is a human being. He came and asked, may I know whether you are a god? The Buddha says, no, I am not a god. Others try to claim they are god or messenger of god or son of god. The Buddha says, no, I am not a god. Then he asked, in that case, may I know whether you are any other form of supernatural living being? He said, no, I am very natural. <laughs> Then he asked, in that case, are you an ordinary human being? No. Now confusing in his mind who his person is. Then, yeah, then who are you? Uh, the Buddha gave the answer. This answer is very important for us to know, to understand who the Buddha is. If somebody come and ask you, now you follow the Buddha, can you tell me actually who the Buddha is? But I don't think you can give correct answer. You say something, this self-introduction given by the Buddha is very meaningful. We can understand why he is called enlightened one. He said in his own language, <coughs> Abhinyayang Abhinyatam. I understood everything that which exists in this universe. Bhaveta Bancha Bhavita. I have practiced all the great qualities, virtues, morals, principles, and good qualities in this world. Pahadabhang pahinang me. I have eradicated, uprooted all the wicked, cruel, harmful, immoral thoughts, words, and actions. Tasma buddho simbrahmana. Therefore, I am not a god, not an angel, not an ordinary man, I am the Buddha. Ah, this is the meaning of the Buddha or enlightenment.